Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Linnea Lewis and today I have one of my best friends with me, Kwamitra. Hey girl. Hey. <laughs> so we're doing something super fun today and basically what we're doing is trying out some drugstore brands and I thought it would be so fun to just see what we can buy under $30. Now I went over just a little bit. Of course you would. No, it's, it's in your nature. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. So we're, so first what we're going to do is, so go ahead and tell me, um, do you use drugstore brand makeup often? So I want to look at the word drugstore because I hear all the beauty gurus say drugstore and then they say Ulta, Sephora. I'm like, when I think of drugstore, I think of places where you buy drugs. So... <laughs> Being honest. And when I say drugs, I'm not talking about the illegal stuff. We're talking about like medicine and things like that. Yeah. So that I think of Walgreens, uh, CVS, even if you want to say Kroger and Walmart. Do I buy makeup from there when they have it in my shade? Yes, I do. Yeah. But other than that, uh, if I need my shade, usually foundations and concealers, I'm going to go to Ulta, Sephora. But I, yes, I will shop on the cheap end because I'm cheap, very cheap, very frugal. Look, ain't nothing wrong with it though. I think, I don't know, when I first got into makeup, which of course is because being a reporter, like I didn't know anything about foundations. I still struggle with finding my foundation shade because of like discoloration on my face and neck and like all that type of stuff. So it's always super difficult, but um. I don't know, like, I think lip glosses have always been my go-to when it comes to going to Walmart or Target or something like that. Like, you could always find you a you nice- wrong with a dollar lip gloss and a lipstick from the beauty supply store in Walmart. I'm just mm -hmm. saying. Yep, yep. But it's crazy because, okay, so when I decided to do this, I was like, all right, I really, I, I've already spent money on some stuff. You know, I just did the Fenty uh, Ease Tint skin tint or whatever just did that and I was like okay so what if we literally found products that was the same price of you paying for one foundation because most foundations are like forty dollars forty five thirty nine dollars I wouldn't know where because I don't do anything over 10. Yeah yeah <laughs> I'm guilty <laughs> I'm guilty yeah. but but you know it was just it was just something interesting now okay so when you went so tell me where you went and then tell me was it difficult to find you know stuff for your face under thirty dollars so some things I'm not gonna say I cheated but as you know, I kind of started the other day, <laughs> but it's still cheap. So the only thing that I really got from Ulta, I got a, what did I get? I got a concealer and I got a powder, but they sell these same items in like CVS and Walgreens. Mm -hmm. I think the only challenge I ever really have is finding my shade. So having darker skin, my face is lighter than my chest and my arms. And so it's always a battle. And then I kind of have a warm skin tone. And so I don't want to look too orange. And then sometimes if I go too dark, it looks too red. And then mm -hmm. it just may look dull if I go cold. So I was literally sitting in Walgreens. I, I had just finished working out. I was sitting on the floor looking at every single one of these foundations, analyzing them like, is this gonna work for me? Mm -hmm. So it took me a little minute, but I mean, I think that's the fun of shopping for makeup. I mean, if you're not taking your time and going to the store, what are you doing? So it's not, well, you can't just go in there and grab it and be done. Right. Well, let's see. I'm trying to think. So, okay. So we actually tried to do this before when I was in Mississippi and I think we had tried the NYX foundation. I think it was yes. Prince of Glow or something like that. And it just didn't work out because a lot of them just didn't carry our shades. And it was just like, okay, so you have these products, but you only want to put eight different shade colors, or I, I wouldn't even just say eight. I'll, I'll say like a good 16. I'll say you put 16 shade colors, but you skip, you skip colors, which makes it so difficult to find stuff, which I think that's probably why 
I navigated to Sephora and Ulta and stuff like that because before the whole pandemic situation, you can go in, you could try stuff, you can like, you know, try to find different stuff um, to fit you. But going into Walgreens or, you know, all these other stores is so difficult trying to literally sit there and be like, okay, I think this is my undertone. Well, I think a lot of brands, they're definitely expanding. Um, we definitely see it because I went, I've gone to places and I'll see, I don't see all 40 shades, but you see like the 20 or maybe sometimes you'll even see 30 shades. But I feel like for me, they still don't get it right. Like you can have all those shades and yep. Still not get it right. And I'm over here going back and forth, returning, picking up, and it still doesn't work. So, but I have found ways to get around it. So I think that's the best part. You have to kind of, you got to work around it. Right. Okay. So let's get into exactly what we got. Okay. So you said you went to Walgreens. So tell me what you picked up from Walgreens. All right. So the only thing I saw that had anything close enough to my shade was the black radiance. So, mm-hmm. oh, okay, there we go. So I got the color perfect. I have never used, well, I've used this brand before. I've used their uh, powder, their powders, their compact powders. Mm-hmm. Um, it says oil-free liquid makeup. I have never used this before. So I'm usually a fit me girl, but I was like, I want to try something different. Yes. So we got this and I got it in the color toffee caramel. Uh, so this is the foundation. Okay. I also picked up, uh, let's see, what did I pick up? I picked up a little eyeshadow kit. It's the Elf. And I forgot the name of this. I think it's the Carnival Candy. And it had these pretty, really pretty colors. And it's like a blue. Um, then it's kind of like this, I don't know how to call it. It's like a kind of a reddish brown. Then I have like a tan. And then I have like a really like beige color. So we got that. Um, and that was, this was prices. This was like $3. Mm-hmm. So this is like a smaller version of the larger ones And the black radiance was like $6. And then I got this pretty, really pretty highlighter. Um, that is wet and wild. Mm-hmm. I thought this would just be up uh, the lighting. Okay. There we go. <laughs> I thought it was you gotta, you gotta hit that. You gotta hit that YouTube. <laughs> but I gotta, <laughs> you gotta do that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there we go. So I got this. Thought it was really pretty. I think this was also like I could be wrong, like four dollars, mm-hmm. but it wasn't that expensive. Wet and Wild. We're sticking to it because they're like the cheapest thing in there. Um, yeah, Elf, Wet and Wild. We're definitely like the cheapest. I got this pearlescent pink. I think I got that one too. Yeah. So <laughs> it's a it's a blush. I wanted to go for something a little bit darker uh, for my, I like darker blushes because I think it shows up better on me, mm-hmm. but this was literally the darkest they had. This is yeah. not that dark, but they were, they had a lot that were gone. A lot of people, I guess, buy them. So they may have had other options. I just missed out. And as far as a lip, I got wet and wild again, and I have this pretty berry. Now this is really outside of my comfort zone. I don't mm-hmm. like bright colors. <laughs> Even the palette is that blue. It's is bright. <laughs> it's bright. And this is near fuchsia. And this was like $2. So um, that's what I got from Walgreens today. And you, and you, do you know how much you spent? I spent on the makeup overall. It was probably about 20. Yes. 20? Okay. Yes. It was 20 and that was before I used my discount because I go to Walgreens. Hold up. Away. So wait, you did this before did, and you didn't, you didn't get no eyebrow pencil. Um, let's see. What else didn't you get? You didn't get no powder. You, you know, you're, well, you're, no, fail, you're failing the time. Right now. And that's where I told you I cheated. So let me tell you the two days before, and this is going to add up into that. But you know, so, it, that's, it's fine. When I went to Ulta two days ago, I got this powder. This is Revolution Banana D. So this was like $6, okay? Mm -hmm. And then I also got, because I mean, I needed it for work that day. I couldn't wait for this video. Like I ain't So I had to go to work. So I got Elf, which is also sold at Walgreens, the same Mm -hmm. one. It's their Deep Cinnamon Concealer. And I got the 16 hour camo concealer with the matte finish. I love, I know everyone likes satin. I'm, I'm, I'm old. They have a a hydro one i think See, 
I don't like those because my skin is oily. If I want a satin look, just give it a few hours. It's going to be sad. Okay. Mm. So I like to get it matte. So I got mm. this and this was probably, I have to look up, but overall, $6. It's like, so you got like $30 and some change. Mm-hmm. Well, I can't talk cause I went over budget, but, um, but yeah, so I decided to get stuff that I haven't tried before. So for foundation, I got the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup. And I'm pretty sure that this is not my color, but you know, we're, we're going to work with it. We're going to work with it today because it was either the ones that were too light or too dark. So I, but I heard good things about this foundation. So I really wanted to try the next one, but that one was $13.99 and I would have been way over my budget, but this one was $8.00. Um, I also got the e.l.f. Uh, concealer. This is in tan sand and this was six dollars. Um, I got a powder, which is the Maybelline Fit Me. This is light medium and I want to say this was five dollars. Um, I also got the e.l.f. little palette. This is the hot, I think it's hot jalapeno <laughs> one. So this one I thought I would try something different because you know I like to stick to my pinks but I'll try something different today I also got the Maybelline Tattoo Studio um, eyebrow pencil and I mean I really could have skip, skipped this but I was just like why not um what else did I get oh I got the wet and wild bronzer now bronzer was super hard to find like when I tell you no one had brought and oh I went to Target I this this was literally I think the only bronzer that I saw in there and I was just like where's all the bronzer I don't understand I don't don't get it so yeah this one was like four dollars three or four dollars and then of course I got the same wet and wild blush or whatever it looked like it might be ashy but you know we're gonna work with it oh that's what I was looking at too yeah it it looked a little little ashy (laughs) I, that's why I wish they had darker like a little bit um I don't know yeah. we'll, we'll see and then I, I um I put a wild card in there um and I wanted to buy this uh lip bar lip lipstick lip lip whatever I don't know what this is but it's called unimpressed so I was, was like it? you know I'm gonna do a green so I was like well I might have a little you know a little pinkish ish or something you know what was it by the lip bar Oh, that's the name. Okay. Yeah, it's the lip bar. They're a black owned company. It's vegan friendly. Okay. And we love I, to see it. I love all their products. So I haven't tried their foundation. They have two foundations and concealer, but I haven't I haven't tried that yet. Um, so yeah, so that's that's what I'm working with. Um, I'm excited to to try this. I am too. I'm excited. Okay. So disclaimer, because of course we didn't get some other things because it would have been way more than $30. So like primer, um, I know like mascara. Um, what else did you you add in? I have there? my lashes. Um, lashes. I wanted to be fair. So I do have my, my setting spray. <gasps> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> like that's honestly like that setting spray is everything. It's, I, I it's buy everything. So I love this stuff. Um, and this is a cheaper option. Now there are more expensive mm-hmm. ones and there's one um, that I really like. It's also vegan. It's They sell it in Ulta. I have to look it up. But um, if you're looking for something cheap and quick, get, mm-hmm. get the more It works just as good. Yeah, because I know people have done like NYX and stuff like that, but I just can't get, I, every time I've tried the matte finish NYX um, spray, setting spray, it just don't do it for me. I don't know. I don't know yeah. Why. Okay, so do you start with, what do you start with first when you do your makeup? Do you do your foundation? You do your eyes? I always start with the eyebrows. Okay. And that's what I usually start with. I start with, so my order is eyebrows. Then I'll do the foundation. Then I go for the eyes. Then I go for concealer, powder everything down. I mean, I'm not no professional. So um, same here. This, disclaimer I'm not a professional professional so don't Listen. be looking crazy and talking about that. that's not how you do it 
well. <laughs> That's how I do Listen, it. Listen, well, all these different TikTok hacks and whatever, there, there is no order. There, there's there no is order no more. This is what I do, and it gets the same. It, I mean, it may not look like your favorite beauty guru, but I mean, <laughs> it's still enough to make some eyes, some head turns when I walk by. So okay, you know. okay, <laughs> oh, and that's on what period. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So, like, I, I don't have any. I, I have primer, but I'm gonna use this little Bobby Brown um, vitamin enriched face stuff. It's like a sample from Sephora. So I was like, hmm, let's go ahead and try this. Let's see how see how it feels. What do you so? What, what you using for a primer? I use NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop. It smells good. Uh, so I always, it's a matte primer and this has always been my go-to. It's pretty cheap too. They sell it anywhere they're sold. Anywhere they sell NYX, you can get this primer. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty popular online and it's, it gives me a nice finish. Okay. Okay. So, uh, this actually feels good on my face. I thought it was going to be like, I don't know. I thought it wasn't going to be like gripping enough to put the can't stop won't stop is very gripping i don't know if it's just me but it's very grip it it grips on like you mm -hmm. feel it when you're putting it on it's very thick have you ever tried the um hydro grip primer nope by milk so y'all i don't explore that's another thing so you're gonna hear her ask me a lot of questions about have i tried these <laughs> i stick to what i know i'm like if it works if it works, it works. So, so I'm not as big as yeah. but I'm no, I'm not trying. I'm I'm the friend that that's always calling her saying, Hey, they have this new foundation out. I think I want to try it. I think I want to try it. Like, you should try it. No, I'm, I'm good. I don't want to try it. I have a foundation. I don't need another one. I don't need five more. I told her she needs to try the NARS, the one that's like my favorite, the NARS soft matte. That's that's my favorite. NARS is out my budget. My That's food. Christmas. That's food. Christmas gift. Might be a Christmas gift. Okay. Yes. Okay. So you say you do your eyebrows next. Yes. So okay. I I have my little mirror right here since I can't like see. So for my eyebrows, I am one of those people that will use a pencil, but I'm mm -hmm. out of. My pencil, I don't know where my pencil sharpener is. So I'm using, <laughs> I'm using this kind of, it's my, it's like a cream mm -hmm. eyebrow thing. It's by Benai, it's cream shadow. And I think this was actually supposed to be for use for like other things like the contour, but I just use it for my eyebrows. Okay. This application is not the prettiest, but it'll just trust the process. Trust the pro listen. It's trust it's the process the every time I do my face. <laughs> it's not the prettiest application. Just trust the process. Yes. But so this eyebrow pencil I got is actually new from Maybelline. It's the Tattoo Studio 36 hour long wear. So it's a, a tattoo something. I put it somewhere. But like, I really didn't need to get this, but I was like, I'll try it. I mean, especially because, oh, Jesus. Okay. Especially, especially because. I have my um my eyebrows with the micro shading. Mm -hmm. It's kind of I really don't need we really don't need it. Okay, it looks pretty good. Cool. I gotta concentrate. <laughs> eyebrows are honestly outside of eyes are the most challenging. No, because why do you think I got my eyebrows and... done? <laughs> one wrong move and you're done why you think I got mine done I never thought I would get <laughs> never thought I would get um micro shading like it looks really good it looks really natural which is something I feel like a lot of people don't have I've seen some that I'm like Ugh. well I think honestly it might just be like because there's like a big difference with the micro micro shading and micro blading and I feel like the micro shading looks way way more natural was well, especially like towards the front I guess you can say mm -hmm. but and it definitely didn't hurt so I would but I actually have thick eyebrows that grow in very awkwardly 
So it's like, even though I wouldn't probably have to do makeup application, I still have to go get them done. And I'm just like, you know what? Well, I know I, I still pluck like underneath mine because I mean, the hair still grows underneath, but yeah. I never actually like go get them um Go get I will maybe consider. It's a it's a good investment. I think I think if you do makeup a lot, or if you know you're a reporter, or you know you're on TV a lot, it definitely cuts back time, and it just makes your eyebrows look more like sisters instead of cousins. Because you know nobody wants that. Because my eyebrows used to look like cousins all the time. Huh. Distant cousins or close cousins? They were first cousins. They were, they were first cousins. But when I first started out, they were, I don't even think they was cousins. I think they were friends. <laughs> I think they, they were, were friends. friends. Trying to be sisters, but it was just not working out. It, it was something. It was something. I'm trying to figure out if I want to do... So when you do your foundation, do you do brush or do you do sponge? I do sponge, but I'm not done with my eyebrows. That's that's fine. But no, I use sponge. Um, it's just cheaper and it's convenient. I don't know. I've never gotten the have. I've never gotten the technique with a brush down. The I brush. don't know what it is. I see people whenever I've had my makeup professionally done. I will buy the same exact brush, but for whatever reason, it still looks streaky. So mm. I just avoid it. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but yeah. I just buy, I, I stick to what I know. <laughs> yeah. It's, I really like e.l.f. brushes though. They, yeah. e.l.f.'s brushes are, are really good. Um, and I remember at first, when I first started doing makeup, I would just throw my brushes away instead of just cleaning them, I know, I would just throw them away and be like, yeah. Oh, well, brushes can be expensive. I'll get another one. <laughs> now, I will say Morphe brushes work really well and they're also super cheap. Uh, Morphe, I haven't tried their brushes. Cheap. Morphe's brushes, I like them. Um, they're probably a few dollars more than e.l.f., but if you need something cheap, they work just as good too. So do you put concealer under your um, eyebrows? Yep, I do a halo effect. Now, something I see people do, well, okay, so for this, my concealer matches a little bit more. It doesn't look like it now. Well, it kind of does. It, I try to get something that uh, is a little bit darker. So I don't like that whole halo effect. Um, so when I choose a concealer for my eyebrows, I try, to choose, I try to choose something that's a little bit closer to my skin tone, can be blended mm -hmm. in. I've seen people uh, where they would get like, you know, use a lighter color on the bottom and then use a darker color on the top mm -hmm. just to get that clean look without the halo effect. But um, yes, I go around and I blend it in. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and put some concealer on my eyelids so I can make the colors pop a little bit more from my okay. eyeshadow. It's so crazy because like people, people that are like just getting into the makeup situation, me included, like you look at so many YouTube videos and you think that you're supposed to do it a certain way. And if you don't do it a certain way, then you're like wrong. And I'm glad people are starting to realize like, no, you do what works for you. I will say the person that really helped me see that, because I've always done it this way, but the person who made me see, you know, it doesn't matter how you put it on, as long as it's on there. Yeah, you won't get that MUA look, but you know, Megan Thee Stallion a few months ago did that uh, video with the makeup application. And it was not the traditional way, but to know that she does her makeup for all of her appearances, her videos for the most part. And yeah. you know, she puts it on like the rest of us. It lets you know, yeah. like, it doesn't matter about the application, you know, while that matters a little bit, as long as you get the same look, baby, it's popping. Exactly. It will work for you. I'm just waiting on that day where I can just go inside of Sephora and be like, oh, this is my shade. <laughs> Instead of being like, hmm, now am I really a warm tone, yellow tone? <laughs> Who is that? The struggle of my life. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I'm excited about wearing this, this green. I have never 
So I don't experiment with color <laughs> as far as my eyes. Why is um, that? So I just, I've always been, how do I say this? I've always liked darker colors. I've always, even when I wear, like my wardrobe is not full of pinks. It's not full of greens. I like fall colors. So I like darker colors, which goes into darker, uh, you know, eyeshadows and things like that. I've just never been a pink girl. It's not like, I don't think darker skinned women can do it. Cause I do mm -hmm. believe you can, know, I have seen it. It's just not my cup of tea. Is it because you're a fall baby? It is November. <laughs> yes, I like, I love everything fall. I love it. So all those pinks, I'm like, ew. I, av I avoid them like a plague. See, and I'm a summer baby and I love pink. Well, pink is my favorite color and gold. So it kind of, they kind of go together. I'm just cleaning my brush. What do you use to clean your brush with? Well, right, like right now, I'm just kind of like dusting it off. Yes, you better go ahead and fleek them eyebrows. <laughs> okay, so now we're getting into the eyes, right? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to do, hmm. So do you, okay, so what's your favorite eye look? Do you, do you just neutral. like do like a simple one stroke? you know, or are you like to do like a little fancy, fancy one? Um, I have experimented with cut creases before. I don't think I've ever done it in public, but I'm more of a kind of a, how do I say, uh, more of a kind of a smokier, simple. I'm, I'm not, I would say eyeshadows are probably my weakest. I, <laughs> but, um, I usually, like I said, stick with those fall colors. I stick with what I know works and we, expand off of that. I think in life, you know, if you're good at something, work on that something till you perfect it. Yeah. So going to the palette that has blue in it actually is very new to me. Right. Well, so. I appreciate you stepping out of your comfort zone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do... I think I'm gonna do green, dark green, dark green. I'm gonna do the shimmer in the middle and do something, I don't know. <laughs> I think what I'm gonna do, mm, don't know, again, don't come for me, makeup people. I think <laughs> I'm gonna do this shade as a transition uh, in, my, in the crease of my eye. This may go on the corner and this over my lip. We'll see how this turns out. Listen, I'm I'm doing this by faith and not by I'm doing it by That's sight and faith, actually. That's the process. Okay. Okay. I think like the hardest part for me is blending. Like knowing, like knowing when I put too much eyeshadow <laughs> and when I haven't put enough. So Blend, blend your life away. It's what I've always been told. Just keep blending. But I'm like, I feel if I blend too much, it's gonna look mushy and muddy. Okay, this color. Yeah. I guess it's on my eye. You said I guess it's on my eye. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see it. It's so-called transition color. It, which which it color? In with my skin. Which hmm? color? The the third one. It's yeah, next to the beige. It's like this brown, which blends in okay. directly. Um, so maybe not the best transition color, but you know, we're here now. It's okay. We're here now. I think I'm gonna use this glittery light green as my transition color. It's in the same area yours is, but it's not coming off. Okay, I think I see it a little bit. It's always trial and error, always. Right. Is it gonna work? Is it not? I think the first time I stepped stepped out of my comfort zone with my eyeshadow was last was last week when um I had watched the YouTuber Maya. Oh, I forgot her last name. Maya Galore, I think, or something like that. 
and she was trying to uh, Huda Beauty um, new palettes and she did like three different eye looks and I was like I need to try that okay <laughs> now do you use some your finger sometimes for like your eyeshadow I think it may depend so I think for shimmery looks I will um, if I want a little shimmer if I want something in the corner of my eye and I don't think my brush is going to cut it then yes but for the most part I use my brushes and I pack it on it's so shimmer. funny this is actually this this palette is actually giving me Behold the Green and Gold from my alma mater, <laughs> Norfolk State University. Let me just put that out there. Because, you know, look at that pigment. It's, I mean, it's coming up. That's what I was looking like. It's popping. I think I'm going to add a little bit more dark green on there. Yo, if y'all hear my stomach growl, I am so sorry, okay? <clears throat> Baby M did not want me to um enjoy my food earlier, so... I'm crying. She won't let you be great. In my mind, I'm saying it's a girl. It may not. <laughs> I still think it's a boy. I'm saying it's a girl because, I mean, why not? I think it's a boy, but either one, either one is fine with me. But that's a good question. Y'all let me know if you think I'm having a boy or a girl. Let I'm saying girl over here. Let, let me know. Me, me and the hubby think it's a girl. I mean, a boy, not a girl. No, it's a girl. You just, you just <laughs> said it. Therefore, you just said it. So it's going to be a girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, let's see how this blue going to look. That blue probably going to pop. I'm going to need a lot of the blue. Okay, I don't like that brush. Oh, uh, let's try something that's a little bit more defined. Okay, I think I like it. I, I will say I do like the little red kind of color. It definitely, it, it's within my comfort zone. <laughs> Let me say that. Yeah. yeah. But it definitely shows up pretty well. Okay, blue. Okay, I think I finished that one. Eyeshadowing is so time to film it. It is, it is so a tedious cool. process that can go wrong so fast, especially if you know nothing about colors. You no, know, for real. <laughs> like, you know what colors <laughs> but I'm not gonna lie, like I usually I usually stay with like the soft pinks or the browns or the dark browns. Sometimes I like to like smoke it out with like a little bit of, of black. Like I'll do that. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I like yeah. it. I'm trusting the process because right now <laughs> you're not convinced. I'm not convinced. Oh god. Then again, I probably just don't know how to apply color. Someone watching this is like, oh, she probably should have used it this way or used it here. Well, look, if that's you, please hit me up. Let me know. I'm dead. Because I need help. It's like the inner corner for me always bothers me. I don't know why, but but I like this little eyeshadow palette though. Mm -hmm. It is cute. It, it's more. It shows up better than I thought because I didn't put any like. Well, just hold on. I didn't put any like um real primer. I really just use my concealer. Yeah, it, I so never use like eye primer like that. Like you know that white base or whatever like that because. I'm one of those people when I'm doing my makeup, I just want to get it done. <laughs> I don't have time for that extra stuff. No, for real. I'm just like, I just want to get it done. Now, mind you, we're not saying it's not going to make a difference. It probably is making a big difference, especially when you can see it better. I just don't, I just got to go. Right. Look, in the news business, we just be trying to get to work. Get to get work. To work to go. Go. Look, because I commend the reporters that go to work without makeup on and be throwing it on their own car oh no I have, That's to, leave so the, I have to leave the house <laughs> with makeup on girl I almost made that mistake this past week and I was like you know what I'm just gonna put my makeup on later good thing I didn't do that right 
but I don't know if it wasn't if it wasn't for working in news I probably wouldn't be that much into makeup because even before I always just wore mascara a little mascara a little bit of eyeshadow and a lip I I know nothing about eyebrows I walk around looking cray cray I know nothing about a bronze (laughs) you got me on bronzer I knew nothing about a bronzer but I mean, I think I was into like makeup in high school. Like I would sneak and because, you know, my mom only had like three things of makeup and really it was like those, it wasn't even, how do I say it? It was like compact foundation. It was basically powder. And so I would sneak. That's what, I feel like that's what most of the older people used. It was the powder <laughs> foundation back in the day. <laughs> right. Like you should have real in a bunch of lipstick and um, what's it called? Lip liner. That's really what she had. So I would sneak and I would put it on. <laughs> I would get to school super early, put it on in the bathroom. And because if I did it at the home, at house, at the house, she would have a whole fit. And I remember one day I got home and she was like, your skin looks really, really smooth. Why does it look like that? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I um, my mom used to let me wear it. And then I went through this whole phase where I think it was my mom's coworker. She had got me into this whole thing of putting glitter underneath my lash line. I mean, under, yeah, underneath like here. And so I used to always have like pink glitter underneath. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Interesting. Yours is looking good. I guess I put my eyeliner on. Yeah. Just in the process still. Listen. I'm still trying to get this whole um, eyelash situation down. (laughs) I just got to the point where I could do my eyeliner without actually holding my eye. Girl, that was the first thing I figured out how to do. Like, I don't even have to hold my eye. I can literally look at it from here and just like, okay. That was the first thing. Yeah. I never liked doing wings though. Like doing the wing out. I never was into that for real. Like I was just never got into it. I guess because me and straight lines don't get along, whether it's the part in my head or whatever, it just me and straight lines. It just didn't work. It is something you have to work at. Like it took me years to perfect my eyeliner game. Like I just look, put it on. I don't hold anything, but it took years. It's definitely, eyeliner is an art and I use liquid. So I get dangerous because I use the liquid ones. I don't use the pencil. Yeah, I like the liquid ones better. Speaking of that, I need to go grab my eyeliner. Go grab it, girl. I'll be back. (laughs) I'm not ready to put these lashes on. Oh, see, I put lashes on last. Really? I put them on last because I feel like they'll just set the look off. Like you put it on last, like, you, and plus I'm afraid I'm gonna get like foundation and powder on them. So that's why I did last. Have you ever like watched your friends put on makeup and you're like mesmerized by it I don't know what it is I used to watch my friend in college Mm -hmm. when she put on makeup I just be staring at her and she was staring at me and she's like it's just so interesting to see how different people put on their makeup yeah I think when I was younger I used to watch my mom put her makeup on but and my grandma because my grandma always wore makeup to work but This, like, makeup is a science, okay? Look, it is a science. I don't know how in the world. It takes practice. Like, I would just literally, uh, okay, I'm messing this up. (laughs) I would, like, sit and watch YouTube videos for hours, and then you just have to practice what looks on your off days. Don't do it on a day when you got to be somewhere, because then you're going to be real upset. If it can't come, come out, out looking cray cray. You're gonna be looking crazy and you're like, dang, I'm stuck with this look. So I would just sit there and practice on my off days. 
just kind of different things. Oh, and by the way, I'm also using Elf as my eyeliner. Uh, again, I'm risky and I use liquid. So yeah, I have um, the eyeliner I use with Maybelline that I've had. Um, and my eyelashes are from Kiss. And uh, <laughs> this eyelash is like stuck to me. I don't know why. I'm trying something different with my eyeliner and it does not look like it's agreeing with me. Um, it looks like it wants to have a, you know, it wants, it's not working out. I'm trying to do an Egyptian look and I, it's, it's just, pretty. we'll see. The, <laughs> the bottom one, the bottom part. It's, I think once again, trust the process, trust the process. Yeah, cause I'm, I'm gonna just do my bottom ones later after foundation and stuff. Trust the process. Cause I'm- Yes, it makes your eyes look snatched. Sneeze. Okay. Now we gotta do the rest of the face. <laughs> okay, right I'm now. Putting, okay, I'm putting my lashes on. I don't have my tweezers, so I'm not gonna. Sh not sure how this is gonna go. <laughs> well, I guess I'll put mine on too. Right here. First of all, I have a piece of hair on. Okay. So I put on a little different, and this is something I never saw. So. I feel like I'm one of the only people that actually has curly eyelashes. My mm -hmm. eyelashes curl into my top line. So I can't do an eyelash curler. I literally have to, for this process, I have to put on my mascara backwards hmm. to curl them down. I have to curl my lashes down. That is interesting. They are extremely curly. Me and lashes never get along. Like I do lashes. anytime I have put lashes on before I went on air, you know, I just gotta say a little prayer because <laughs> right. Be like, I hope it don't come on. And girl, don't let it be windy. <laughs> that part. But I snatch my lashes off real quick, like. Guess it's just gonna be mascara today. <laughs> <laughs> but I um, think that's. Hmm. I was just saying when I do lashes. Okay, this mascara line is too thick, but you know what? It's fine. When I do lashes, um, what was I gonna say? I don't remember. Keep going. <laughs> the um, concentration on getting this right. Right. Um. I think that's another reason why I turn to lash extensions because it was just so much more convenient, but lash extensions are also so expensive. They are. Like, when I say that's an investment. <laughs> but they look so pretty and so natural. If that's the look if, you want. If that's the look right. <laughs> I know some people want that dramatic look and look, I'm not hating. I'm not hating. If that's what you want, okay. You know, I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> I just don't want people to fly away. That's all. I wasn't going to say that, but I was definitely thinking that. Yeah. You know, I just want to check on their well-being. I just don't want them to fly away. But if that's what you like, I mean, some people pull it off. They rock it. I mean. My thing is, how do you put on when it's when they're that long? How do you put on like eyeshadow? Because everyone I see with lashes like that usually don't wear eyeshadow. Yeah, that's another thing. A lot of people that get their extensions don't really see. I have one part I just don't want to lay down. Um, people that get lash extensions, a lot of them really don't wear makeup like that, um, or don't wear wear eyeshadow like that. I should say, but. I was still putting on eyeshadow. Yeah, I I like the eyeshadow. I have hooded eyes. So it's like, if I close my eyes, you wouldn't even see this look. Mm. So 
I think that's another reason I don't put that much emphasis on eyeshadow, emphasis on eyeshadow. Because yeah, with the lashes, you don't see them. Yeah. No, your eye look, your eye look came out good. Thanks. <laughs> I just gotta beat the rest of the face. I really, really set it off. Look, I'm real nervous about this foundation right now. Girl, you, me. I hope this foundation matches. <laughs> This yeah. one one piece does not want to stay down. I am not feeling this eye this eyeliner. I'm gonna have to take it off. Oh Lord, you one of those? I'm not feeling it. It just I tried to do the corner eye and I'm not. It's giving me Halloween. Halloween. It's giving me too dramatic. Like I don't what's know. wrong with being dramatic? Uh, maybe I'm basic. Maybe you're supposed to come, uh-uh, because you remember you're supposed to be stepping out your comfort zone, so what, what was that? <laughs> what was happening? Shout out to all my basic girls in the world. We don't do this. <laughs> I'm right there with you. Meanwhile, my finger just got stuck. Okay, so I have my lashes on, but I have the natural lashes, so they don't really... They add a little something, but it don't add all that. <laughs> oh, girl, mine's gonna add all that. It's gonna add all of that and some. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. My face actually, that Bobby Brown stuff felt, felt good on my face. What was happening? I feel like I want to apply this foundation with, um, uh, um, a beauty blender just because a sponge I should say because it's not a beauty blender but a sponge because there's no pump mm. I wish more makeup companies would do pumps like it is you save so much product mm -hmm. or even the little um the little applicator the what is it called the dofa dofa applicator like this yeah, even if we had foundation that had that, that would be fine too. I know the um I think Neutrogena, Neutrogena has one that's like the concealer brush and the concealer. The uh black radiance, it has like a flat, it has an applicator, but it's like a flat hand. Mm. I mean that's better than nothing. Right. So we'll that see. is like better than nothing. I'm so happy we're doing this. <laughs> I'm like so worried because this looks way too caramel. <laughs> but we'll see. But I also have this light on me too, so it's a little, it's a little bright. <laughs> a little bright, bright. Yes, come through. Come through. Yeah, mine are a little, my lashes, I like them to show. My eyes look really dull if I do a full face and I don't do something like this to my eye. They just like, they just disappear in the look. The eyes are supposed to stand out. Yeah. So I do a little bit of, a little bit of a dramatic lash. Okay, I'm about to try the foundation. Same. Ooh. Okay, excuse my dirty sponges. I just... I want that bad. Really this is the applicator it. for this foundation. It's okay. like a spatula. So I'm just going to spatula it on my face. I'm trying to see if I can make my light a little dark. Oh, okay. It kind of blends. <laughs> it kind of blends. <laughs> This is giving me, I need to look in like. I like, I like this spatula though. I really do. My phone I'm is like not dealing with me right now. Okay, not I'm bad. Struggling. 
it's like a tad bit darker than I would like, but you know. Oh, wait, this is very warm. It's warm. It's a very warm color. Okay, so how do you feel about all of these like TikTok, TikTok videos showing like, you know, hacks and stuff? Showing hacks? Mm hmm. Sorry, y'all. I got pregnancy nose, so I just got to wipe my nose. <laughs> Um, I like right. them simply because they're putting the same, it's all the same hacks that, oh, Jesus, this is a little red. Hold on now. We're going to have to work with this later. Uh, I like it because it's basically the same hacks that these beauty gurus have been doing for years. The mm -hmm. only difference is I don't have to watch a 30 minute video to see it. So <laughs> the video is one minute. Yeah. I, but I mean, it's all recycled. I can't, I can't get into making TikToks, okay? I feel like I'm old. I feel like Girl. I officially reached the old stage. Then tell that to the 60 year old women, married and single who are on there. Look, they teach life hacks on TikTok. I'm saying I've learned a lot from You TikTok. are a TikTok queen. You be on there all the time. Did you see this TikTok? Did you see this TikTok? <laughs> I be like, Girl, no. <laughs> I'm back, can you hear me? Mm-hmm. Mom called me. I'll, I'll call her back. That's not good. But <laughs> so first impression of your foundation. I like the, the spatula. The feel of it. It's I mean it, it blended pretty well. Um it, it blended in pretty well to my skin. I think it's a little bit red. I mean, it probably matches. I'll have to see it in natural lighting. I mean, it's not bad. I think if I want full, full coverage, I feel like I would need to use more. Um, Because I definitely, it, it, this is not full coverage. I still see blemishes. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so I think. Do you like, so you like full coverage? Well, see, usually I'm not a full coverage girl. So this would be okay. But if I was going for a full coverage look, um. And like I said, it blended and spread pretty well. So I don't think you need to use a lot. But if you were going for full coverage, I think you probably would have to use another one. But I mean, it's it's okay. Uh, I will have to see how it lasts. Again, this claims that it is, I mean, it doesn't claim anything. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make it though. Mine, okay, so mine has the SPF in it, SPF 17. But yeah, I don't have a claim on mine. I think I have to look it up. Let's see. All it says it claims to be color perfect, oil free liquid makeup. That is all it's telling me. It says it, okay, here it is. It says it enhances the natural undertones of the skin, ideal for all skin types. And that's all I got. Okay. Oh. Okay, let's see. Okay, nope, that's not the one I want. Oh. Let's see. L'Oreal True Match. Right now, I'm feeling it. I definitely feel like this is medium to full coverage because I have like marks and stuff on my face and it definitely definitely covered it up okay product details so they say that this one launched like 15 years ago um they have 45 shades <laughs> definitely don't have 45 in the um store <laughs> um it says free of oils and fragrances and won't clog pores and it says it's a medium coverage with a natural finish. So it's definitely not matte. It doesn't feel matte. It definitely felt like liquidy. But hopefully, hopefully this concealer is um that's what you gotta pray on right now. The concealer. Are you gonna save me or not? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and do this little TikTok, little TikTok hack that they've been doing. 
Oh God! To, to lift your eyes. You know, I, mean, I you kind of did it. I saw that, and Jackie Ina made a video talking about that. Mm -hmm. And she made a very good point. She was like, doing that does not work for everyone. Because if you like me, who has a lot of bags, you need that little spot cover. <laughs> you, you feel like something's missing there and it still looks dark. So I, I actually, I kind of go back to the other way. Like I get why people do the eye lifting and I kind of do it in the corner to lift that. But like I said, I have really dark bags and I kind of... So do you let your concealer sit in? Mm -hmm, obviously not. Um, <laughs> I just don't have time for that. You know, yeah. it's like people do that and you know, that works, but I just don't have time. Like I'm not, when I put on makeup, I am in a hurry. So I don't let anything sit. I just go and put it in, but sitting will probably make it last better. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like this is an okay match, but I know like my original concealer that I used from Too Faced, um, it's okay, but I feel like I can go like a little lighter. Like I don't like a super bright eye, under eye, but cause I don't like putting like pow a whole bunch of powder I like powder because I like what's your favorite powder um I think black radiance has one that I actually like now that I think about it it's either that or it's a Milani but I feel like it's a black radiance because you get so much the one I, I think I actually have it back there but you get so much for such a, such a cheap price. Mm. Um, and I have been using it and it comes in a really dark shade. Like, um, I believe if you're gonna do any powder and you're darker or have any type of melanin, get a darker shade powder. Don't do white if you don't want that pushback. And this is yellow. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Blend, blend, blend. But um, right. yeah, no, I definitely like, uh, I think it was the Black Radiance, but I'll have to see. I'm like, I need, I don't know why I don't have a makeup mirror, to be honest. Oh my. Okay, so let's try this little Maybelline Fit Me powder. I see her good thing. Oh. <laughs> I'm over here like this, like, all right, I'll make sure it's out. Girl, I forgot I had the little thing you gotta pull on. <laughs> and my nails are super long, so. Okay, let's try this again. Here we go. Now, what kind of, is there a specific sponge that you like to use? Um, what is the name of this sponge? This is actually a different sponge that I got, but I really like, let me look up the name of it because I want to get this name right. Because <laughs> I always say, oh, I use something and I don't remember the name. Um, but I think it's one most people use. It's sort of like the, um, the dupe to the booty, <laughs> the beauty. The booty blender. The booty blender. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's the dupe to the booty blender. Beauty blender. <clears throat> I usually use. This is giving me real ash right now. It's okay. I don't have to see this in the sun. Because right now, oh, it's looking a little, oh. What? What is it looking like? It's looking a little yellow. It's this powder. I got the banana and definitely should have stuck to what I know. <laughs> that wasn't the purpose of this. <laughs> no, I'll speak to Oh, but you actually got that one before. 
Yeah, sometimes what I do though is if like, for example, so this powder is really light and I think it was probably another one that I could have picked, but I just go back with my sponge and just blend in. At some point I'll find this sponge. I don't see why it's so hard to find. I feel like everybody has bought this sponge before. Is it the, um, it start with an S? Is it black, black and white? No, it's orange. Real techniques, real techniques is what I use. Oh yeah, I have one of their, I have a blush brush from there. Okay, so I'm about to go in with my bronzer. Bronzer, I'm scared. I'm scared because it look real ashy. <laughs> Y'all, we're gonna end up with ashy faces. Look, I will say this highlighter is, I like it. Maybe. Okay, this bronzer is not doing anything for me. <laughs> like anything. Okay. It's like, who was this for? Y'all, this, it, it, it's not going to work. I should have knew that. It's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Morphe palette <laughs> that I have right here. Yes, the Morphe, like, the Morphe contour palette, I love it. Yes. Which I think is about what I'm about to go get myself. Because <laughs> this look, it's giving me, I need some shades to darken this up. I'll be back. The struggle. Uh, it's brown. The struggle to stay under $30. <laughs> I'm going to just add. Okay, so we're gonna contour a little bit because we gotta, gotta. I still haven't been able to master contouring. Uh, I haven't been able to master it. For me, I like to use powder contours. Powder? Yeah, is I it, like is it easier to work with. Yeah, I mean, I've used cream before, but you just gotta be so careful because you don't want that line. And powder is just easier to blend out. But I mean, that's also in this palette, the Morphe palette. And blend up, never blend down, because then you look crazy. Okay, see that added a little, gave me a little something to my face because I was looking real, <laughs> I don't even know. Look like I wasn't here all the way. <laughs> you were cast for the guts? I was cat I was looking casket sharp. <laughs> I was looking casket sharp. I'm like trying not to cover my face up. I'm scared to see what this blush looks like. All right. I'm so scared. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Blush. <sighs> that so called bronzer was not cool. <laughs> and this is the. the I'm going to go like this. Okay. Time to put on the blush. I'm kind of getting worried about the lipstick here. No, lipstick about to pop, okay. Oh, this looks ashy. <laughs> we got It's showing up a little bit, but it's not. It's not super pigmented, if you would say. Okay. See, I can't I can't get with the cream. Well, not the cream the liquid blush because I feel like I would be so heavy-handed and <laughs> right I feel like I would be so heavy-handed 
okay, the blush is not that bad. It's not that bad. You just gotta work with it. It's really not. It's not that bad. I ain't gonna talk about it. All right, now I'm basically finished with my face. I'm just going to spray and then add some uh, mascara to my bottom and put my lipstick on. Yeah, for the most part, same thing. I'm gonna um, so make this color. I'm gonna put a little bit of color underneath the eye just to make the look pop. My eye pop a tad. You're right. You are absolutely correct. I forgot all about it. Why did I use this? Sometimes when I feel like I don't have enough um spray on my face, instead of like going back and going like. I just take my sponge and just spray it on there. So I can just, you know, hit those areas. But spray really be doing, be bringing your face back to life. Like, it like, it just, it sets everything in, setting spray. It set up, settles everything in. Huh? For real, cause sometimes you be like, where did I go? <laughs> where, where am I? <laughs> where am I at? So what color did you put on the bottom? I think I'm gonna put um, this color, this lighter green. I used the same color that I used in my crease, which is that kind of like reddish, brownish color um, to put under there. I don't know how that looks, but yeah, I did that. Now I'll go in with my mascara because I like mascara on my bottom lash too. It's like, it looks naked without it. Mm-hmm. I can't I can't do um bottom lashes though. Like I, I can't I commend people that are able to do it, but me and bottom lashes don't get along. Me and top lashes barely get along. <laughs> <laughs> Let alone the bottom. Right. And we will be taking pictures and posting this so you could see the product in natural light or regular light. I mean, I'm on I'm on the East Coast, so it's getting a little dark outside. <laughs> and I'm down south, so the sun's still out. So I got a little bit of natural light. But you know, I'll be hopping in front of my my ring light. Like, let's do it. Let's go. See, look, I saw a TikTok. And I think people need to be careful with those ring lights. This girl, she got her makeup done professionally, right? It looked good on the ring light, girl, when she stepped outside. No, it was not blended at all. Look, ash, it looked good on the ring light. But when she stepped outside in natural light, it was a hot mess. Like the girl did not blend it at all. And I think she was just going off the natural light. I mean, the ring light. So uh, now I, I question when I see makeup on Instagram, like, does it really look, how does it look in the sunlight? Uh -huh, how does it really look? It looked a hot mess. Look, like I said, this is a whole science, like. It is. Don't believe everything you see on social media, y'all. It's all a lie. Uh -huh. Filters are real. Okay, no, let's for real. Uh, it's very peachy. Oh. That is not peachy. Not peachy. Very. Very beautiful. <laughs> I feel like there's barely any product in here. This smells bad. <laughs> I don't like the smell. It smells okay. like lipstick Drugs, that you would put on when you were drug playing. Drugstore brand. Drugstore yeah, brand. <laughs> yes. Oh, this is creamy. That was a, this is very creamy. <laughs> I didn't think it, I didn't think it was gonna be this dark. Let 
But I'm known for having a bold lip anyway, so. Setting spray, do your work. Set this. Um, yeah, I definitely don't do the paint. This paint is so bold. So how you feel about lip liners? Do you use them? I will if I want to do an ombre. I think lip liners, they definitely have a purpose and I've realized that. Um, but I will use them depending on the look I'm going for or if I want my lips to kind of, if I use them particularly when I'm doing with nudes or like brown, well, not real nudes. For me, it'll be browns. But because mm -hmm. I don't want to blend in with my rest of my face, I'll use a lip liner to kind of make a contrast. Yeah. So I will use lip liners every now and then. Oh yeah. You finished? For the most part, yeah. I mean, I feel like I need to see it in the sun. <laughs> I think it's the lip that's throwing me off and this eyeliner, which I shouldn't have. It looks good. I think it's the eyeliner that's throwing me off. Looks good. All right, so let's go ahead. Our final looks. Oh yes, we do have the same shirt on. Um, this is not sponsored. I'm not that big to get anything sponsored yet, but if you know somebody, tell them the hello, okay? But um, <laughs> but yeah, um, you probably heard us say it, but we're both reporters, so you know we were in front of the camera for a living. Um, but yes, okay. So how are you feeling about your makeup? I like it all except my eyeliner and my lipstick. Mwah. So what do you think about the quality of drugstore makeup? I think drugstore makeup, is there gonna be a difference? Yes, if you're paying for more, well, let me say this, more does not mean necessarily better. Um, but, you know, there are some high quality or high end makeups that are really, really good. But I just feel like, you know, if you're on a budget and you can't really necessarily afford $60 for one product, you can get the same type of look with something that's cheaper. Um, I do think you just kind of have to experiment with all makeup. I mean, there are brands where the cheaper is better than the high end. So right. I think it's all just an experiment to work what works best for you. Right. Um, what I'm works just... best for me and my budget is going to be my Walgreens, Target, Ulta, Sephora, and the, all of those stores. Yes. Because you stay, no, you stay in Ulta. That's your store. I say in Ulta, I live in Ulta pretty much. Yes. <laughs> and I stay in the cheaper side. I don't really go over to the more expensive side. They have some great stuff over there. But mm. I'm not I do want to try like ColourPop though. I haven't tried ColourPop for real. Oh, sorry, I'm wiggling. <laughs> I just wanted to get better lighting so you can see my face. Um, but yeah, I want to try ColourPop. Um, I don't know. There, I've heard a lot of good things about them. Yeah. Oh, Juvia Space. That's why. That's what else I wanted. Their eyeshadows. Like I wanted to try their eyeshadows. I've heard they're really pigmented and good. I definitely try those. Um, any other makeup you want to try? No, I stick to what I know. <laughs> I'm no help. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, tell us what you think of our look what's your favorite drugstore brand um what looked good didn't look good uh, recommendations and yeah did you did you have a shameless plug or anything that you want to put in there follow me on instagram q Wilborn tv i post new stuff and sometimes i post selfies but you know follow me on there follow me on twitter q Wilborn tv the same thing my handle is the same everywhere so yeah all righty. Well, I'll make sure to put our pictures um, on here. And yeah. So thanks for joining us.